home to the longest running, the original, the only trilingual Filipino Chinese lifestyle magazine show, Chinatown TV. I'm your host, Candice Dan. Nin Xian Zai Shu Kan Shi Beijong Dian Shi Tai. If you love coffee and brunch worthy cafe food, chances are you've already visited so many cafes in the metro. Kasi sa totoo lang, cafe culture in the Philippines is alive and well from our love of delicious coffee drinks, comfort food, and Instagrammable interiors. Kaya naman, hit two birds with one stone on your next date by checking out the Redwood Coffee Shop here in Quezon City. Tang ni lu guo zhe jian cafe wu, qing man xia ni de jiao bu, jin dian lai chang yin chang ta men de cafe, zui zhong hui rang jie yi he xing fu chong man zhe jian cafe wu. So tara, let's get to know more of the Redwood Cafe here at Quezon City. Go! Oh wow, I'm loving these hexagon mirrors. Impressive, oh my god, they look so real. Oh, so cool. I really thought it was real. Oh my god, ang galing. Sobrang, I'm so mesmerized, okay? It's like, it's like magic over here. Okay, I'm really loving the place. It's so cozy. It's so relaxing. I love the lights. It's so warm. Oh, and now my favorite, of course. Sofa. Relaxing. Gabe. So if you are in QC, you have to come over here. It's just in front of Music 21. It's a newly launched coffee shop here at QC. Limong Avenue. Time to relax and order my coffee. <laughs> ZTE joins the competitive smartphone industry in the Philippines as it recently unveils two game-changing lines of mobile phones for Filipinos. Ang Blade series which promises premium quality and high performance at an attractive price point at Ang Red Magic 8 Pro, ang latest addition to the power gaming series. ZTE Philippines 手机发布会 那新的已经令人兴奋的手机 即将到来 来自5G创新的领导者 To everyone, welcome to ZTE Philippines Mobile Launch That is new and exciting phones coming your way Only from the leader of 5G innovation ZTE was founded in 1985 At the beginning of this month we just celebrated ZTE's birthday, and uh, currently ZTE have more than 72,000 employees all over the world. Now we already extend our business in more than 116 countries all over the world. If you are familiar with ZTE company, you will know that ZTE is one of the leading smart device manufacturers. Our mobile phone history has starts from the year 1998. They have more than 35 years. And during the past 35 years for the terminal business, they just achieved many wonderful terminal products. Sa event launch na dinaluhan ng mga tech bloggers, bloggers at friends for media, ipinakilala ang mga bagong ZTE Blade series. The retail price eleven nine nine nine. Achievable and affordable devices for women. It's covering three of the things that we want in the phone. It's affordable, it's gorgeous, and it's capable. That's good. Yeah. I also tried the cameras, just like you, uh, and I'm quite impressed with the 50 megapixel main shooter of this one as well. Ipinakilala rin ang bagong brand ambassador na si Eric Eruption Tai. Ipinakita rin niya kung gaano siya nag enjoy gamitin ang latest CTE gaming-focused Red Magic 8 Pro.
The Red Magic 8 Pro features a 6.8-inch FHD plus AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, a 960Hz touch sampling rate, and 1,300 nits peak brightness. To make your gaming experience as smooth and enjoyable as possible, ZTE equipped this phone with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Octa-Core processor. Keeping the phone cool during marathon gaming sessions is an ICE 11.0 cooling system with a 20,000 RPM high-speed turbo fan and double-layer VC liquid cooling plate. Meanwhile, a large graphene layer under the display spreads out and better dissipates phone heat before it reaches your thumbs. We look forward to a very strong and very solid partnerships with all of you.非常精美的菩萨的脸，比方说一半给脱落了，颜料层给掉了。我们想，哎呀，要是补全多好啊！风一吹的时候啊，是比哈那个气炸壁画就像雪片一样，哗哗哗就落。看了以后，我的眼
In a time when there were no video records, the murals in Dunhuang were just like photographs, pictorial evidence of history. People can see China through the Tang dynasties in it. As Xi approached the mural, he even saw Zhengding County in Hebei Province, where he started his political career. Uh In Dunhuang's murals, apart from art, people can also see how China commercially influenced the world more than 2,000 years ago. This is Cave 285 of the Moga Grottles which was built in the Western Wei Dynasty and has a history of nearly 1,500 years. The murals in the cave include images of Fuxi and Nuwa, ancestors of humans in Chinese myth. The Taoist god of thunder and a flying Apsaris from India. Diversified cultures come together and blend here. Chinese 让大家来了解，来真正体会到它的魅力。啊，另外一个呢，我们现在讲“一带一路”，讲中外文化交流，丝绸之路就是一个典范。Just half a year after Xi Jinping was elected president, he proposed to build a Silk Road economic belt in Kazakhstan, another country on the ancient Silk Road, more than 3,000 kilometers away from Dunhuang. 我的家乡。中国陕西省if Silk Road prospers, Dunhuang prospers. As an important symbol of Chinese civilization, Dunhuang elements appeared more and more in President Xi's cultural diplomacy. Dunhuang, where the four civilizations meet, belongs to both China and the world. When you visit Dunhuang, you will be more sympathetic to Xi's idea of exchanges and a mutual learning among civilizations. Jiuquan, Dunhuang, Tulufan, Samarhan, Bagadar
。我的爱人，即使能回到旧家园，也茫茫没有星光，大地一片凄凉，爱人。我为你发了狂，爱人，爱人，我心爱的情人，希望我与你应一双，愿我俩比翼双飞，永远不要分散。永远陪伴在你身旁，永远陪伴在你身旁，永远陪伴在你身旁。Chinatown TV. You are now watching the Beijing Radio Station. I'm your host, Candice Sam, and here with me right now is Alvin, one of the co-owners of the Redwood Cafe here at QC. Hi, Alvin. So nice to see you, and I'm really so excited to get to know more about the Redwood Cafe. So first, can you tell me more about it? You know, what's the background? Why did you guys want to start this cafe? Because initially, from my mother's side, we have a roasting. So every time I go home to Bacolod, parang the, the smell reminds me of the coffee. When I when I'm working out, kasi pre-working out, I'm drinking black coffee always. Then parang I got bored with with the, the always bitter and exactly. oh, yung mga ganong lasa. Then then I came across yung parang uh, specialty coffee, the, the third wave coffee they say. Uh, so so I first tried the pour over methods to bring out the flavors of the coffee. Yung parang uh, nagsimula doon na nag-explore ako. Then uh, came the approval of my parents, yung mga ganoon, and pinsan, oh, mga kapatid. Oh, that's really great. Uh, we came to this uh, right now, where we are. Okay. Now that you said it, um, that you also want to try out and explore, so does that mean that you're also very hands-on with the flavors of your coffee as well as all the desserts? Yes, uh, very hands-on, especially the drinks right now. Uh, nag, we we uh, are and all of the time. Bring out uh, as much as possible unique drinks. Because mm -hmm. with the coffee right now, parang feeling ko ah, uh, parang paulit ulit na lang siya. Mm -hmm. There's the same recipe and ganing ganing. So I'm always looking for something to blend wow. with the coffee or or kaya matcha and okay. everything. Okay, that's mga very ganun. interesting. Parang to bring in new flavors, parang ganon. Bring new flavors. You know, now that we're talking about all the drinks, the coffee. Can you tell us, you know, what are your best sellers or what are the, what are the fresh ideas that you have come up with? Actually, we have uh, released uh, two new items today. Uh, mm. The uh, matcha orange and the uh, cocoa matcha. Wait, matcha orange and cocoa matcha. Okay, that is very, very new. It's my first time to hear that. So, can you tell us more about it? Uh, basically, it's uh, the, the cocoa matcha is a... Uh, we we uh, infuse like uh, cocoa powder, and uh, we have milk and uh, matcha. Oh, okay. And it, it blends well, kasi yung ano yung flavors niya, the chocolate okay. and the matcha. Uh -huh. Parang sakto siya sa sa panlasang pinoy mm. and then uh, the orange matcha naman. Uh, it also blends well with matcha, yung citrus citrus uh, taste niya. Mm -hmm. Parang ano siya, it's refreshing, more sa summery drink. Summery drink. And I also heard that you guys have the Avalanche. Right? Avalanche, yes. It's one of our best sellers. Right? Basically, it's a black coffee with Irish cream, then topped with uh, Breve. It's a half cream, half milk. What's your personal favorite, though? Personal favorite? Uh -huh. Avalanche, uh, actually, I created that drink mm -hmm. uh, together with the r and team. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, right now, I'm, I'm exploring more on the matcha side. The matcha because, side, uh, yeah. Our, our coffee choices are... I'm satisfied now with the coffee choices. Regular lattes, cappuccino. I explore more on the matcha, like 
Kasi yung trend ng matcha ngayon is rising. Yeah, so, I was just gonna say oh, that. Oh, so I, I want to bring in the, the new flavors, parang mm -hmm. ex, uh, experimenting more, more recipes. Although kahit na everyday bloated, okay lang, basta... <laughs> <laughs> Hindi basta, naman, no? no? Ibang, ibang flavors, yes. yes so. That's really interesting. So let's talk about this place. Kasi when I entered this coffee shop, sobrang na-amaze ako sa interiors. It really made me feel so cozy, so comfortable. So what's the... Um, the idea or the design behind the coffee shop? Uh, bago kami nag-start nito, uh, me and my cousin were looking for inspiration for coffee shops. Mm -hmm. Then we came across this uh, coffee shop with uh, redwood interiors. Uh, parang it came to us na, it's, na parang the warmth of the, the color mm -hmm. itself yes. and uh, parang it's very earthy, like yeah. the wood, the wood yeah. and all. Uh, combined with the parang trend ngayon na industrial coffee uh -huh. shops. Actually, uh, actually it's pr pretty quite minimalistic. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, look at this one. This is very creative. <laughs> Super galing. Well, actually, it's very nice. It is, actually. Which is good because we get to see the display of books without having to have the allergies of having dust on the books, right? <laughs> Super creative. I love that idea. Alvin, can you tell us about the operations as well of the coffee shop? What time to what time can you open? Uh, operations namin, Bali, Tuesday to Saturdays, we're open uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Okay. Then uh, Sunday and Monday, we open early. Uh, 7 a.m. up until uh, 8 p.m. only. Okay, great. For early birds and, you know, night owls as well. Thank you so much, Alvin. Now, could you invite our Chinatown TV viewers to, you know, visit this? Uh, yes, I invite you all to our uh, humble coffee shop. We're in, located in Timog, Cedar Executive Building 2, uh, just across uh, Music 21. Thank you so much, Alvin. You know, I am so excited to try out the drinks later on, especially uh, the matcha you've mentioned, as well as the avalanche. And I've been eyeing that since kanina pa. <laughs> All right, and now, everyone, here's more of Chinatown TV. Chinatown <laughs> Po, mga kaibigan Pinoy, ito po si Sisi, weekend na naman, nandito ako sa Panja, yung second hand market. Pero, aram ba nyo, meron pa itong mas nakapanulumong pangalan. Ito ay Ghost Market. Ah! Bakit tinatawag itong Ghost Market? Merong tarwang kasabihan. Una-una, dahil ang business hours dito ay minsan mula alas 6 ng gabi hanggang alas 6 ng maga. Sa sinangunang panahon, walang ilaw at ang pagpapenta at pagpili ay sa ilalim ng candlelight o lamplight. Kaya ang mga shopkeeper at mamimili ay parang ghost. Yun yung ikalawa, sa ghost market, hindi pwedeng tanungin. Saan garing ang mga paningda? At hindi gayang karandiyahan ng mga shopkeeper ang authenticity ng mga paningda. Sa sinauna panahon, merong mga pinuslit at nakaw na bagay sa palengke. Hindi kaya ibenda sa araw. Kaya tinatawag itong ghost market. Ngayon, kasna ng pagkakaroon ng magandang pamumuhay at maayos na public order. Ang Panjayuan Ghost Market ay naging isang espesyal na night market. Tanging hindi na raw si Do tuwing piyernes. Mula alas 6 ng hapon hanggang alamuna ng sabado ng umaga. Ang hilakang pahagi ng palengke ay lugar para sa mga tradisyonal na handicraft. Pwede makita ninyo ang mga antikong plato, storage cabinet, patch, handmade na project, hand strings, muleta, at artistikong apaniko, calabash, powder, at iba pang mahiwagang bagay. Mga milenyo baga hindi pamyal sa kagamitan ito. Film camera. Fashion goes around in circles. Ngayon, muling naging pendog ang mga film camera sa mga youngster na Chino. 
at napakataas ng presyo ng mga kamerang may proper maintenance. Diyak na may OCD ang shopkeeper nato. Ayos ang pag-display ng mga stone sculpture na ibinependa niya. Naku! Nasorpresa kong makita ang laruan na popular na popular when I was a little girl. Pagod pa sa tradisyonal na handicraft at antique na may estilong chino. Ang Panjayuan Ghost Market ay isang malalaking salusalo para sa mga taghanga ng animation. Sa gawing timog ng palengke, nasa first floor ng isang multi-story parking area. Nagtitipo-tipon ang mga fans ng Ultraman, Transformers, Super Mario, The Avengers, Pokemon, Doraemon, at iba ba. Dito, magigida ninyo ang maraming action figures na halos lahat ng kilalang animation film. Mismong mga shopkeeper ay big fan ng isang katong o film at kinokorekta ang maraming action figures. Pwede kayong pumili. Pwede din mag palitan sa kingla kung meron kayong ipang pabihirang edisyon ng action figures. Tingnan ninyo ano na ginako. Wandering bing dun dun. Ngayon, walang paing frenzy at half price na lang. Cute na cute naman ang mga earrings at nail sticker. Di ba? Kung gusto ninyo ang mga antique, uh, tradisyonal na handicraft ng China at vintage toys, siguradong ayaw ninyong mamis ang kawili-wiling lugar na to sa Beijing. Okay, tapos na ang ating biyahe sa Panjayuan Ghost Market. Ito muli si Sisi. Hanggang sa muli, kita-kita! Hi to all my family, my mom, my dad, my dad in heaven. I hope you're listening to me. Call boy, 
用我的心病，用你的宝剑挂对你的爱情，心爱的是世间最纯情的路线，心爱的为着你为着你，我是勇敢用剑剑。And this is it. I'm going to make some matcha orange together with Alvin. He's gonna teach me. This is my first time. Okay, so please guide me. Thank you. First, uh, we get our chawan, put here, and there our get our uh, sifter. This one. Okay. Place it on top here, then there. Then we take our uh, ceremonial matcha. Mm -hmm. Ceremonial match. Then we get the one. Put four grams. Here? Yes, four grams there. there. Oh, here? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. The way in everything. Oh, alright. So that's To be more grams. accurate of, uh, on the recipe. Okay, got it. So one more gram. Okay, All right. four grams. Then we use this. This one to to sip to sip the the matcha to make it more uh, so like like this yes so when you pour in the water uh, it won't clump up uh, yes. we put those there na lang soak it there first and place it just place it right there on the side we get our kettle right there this one yes we use 80 de 80 degrees that warm put it water. Put, uh, yeah, 40 ml. 40 ml. Yes, we sit in a W motion. Like this? Fast W motion. Yeah, so, so it creates this foam. Ah, okay. For the texture. Na rin. Am I making the foam? No. Uh, yeah, you you want to do it, it first? Fast. You can do it like this. Do it like that. Okay. Okay. Can I try it? Yeah. So how do we know if it's then, good? Then kapag na? okay na. All right. And now. And then uh, pour natin yung orange. Okay. So we have the orange juice. We pour it here. Everything? Yes. Everything. Everything. Okay. I'm gonna add some ice to it. Baka, baka when I taste it, baka iba na yung flavor kasi ako yung gumawa. <laughs> so this is my very first time making matcha. I used to think it's very hard, but it's actually pretty easy. But again, it depends on your skills. All right, and then let's. You have to put uh, one pump of fructose and vanilla. For here. Yes. So you just one pump. And then the other one, the vanilla. Okay, then. Put it back here. Should we mix it? Yes. Uh, we can get this one. Okay, na. And then you can pour it directly on top slowly. Okay. Para yung so this is it. Okay. Like that. Yes. So it just stays on top. You have to stir it now later on. It's for the aesthetics. <laughs> ah, okay. We have our. Orange matcha. Yay! So this is my very first orange matcha. So as of now, it's all here, here for aesthetic purpose. How do we drink this? We have to stir. Have to stir, yes. Ah, you have to stir. Do I mix it? Yes. Oh, look at that! Whoa! Wow! It's now all matcha. Okay, let me try. It. Wow. 
just like what you've said, it's really a summer drink. It's so cool, it's so refreshing. Wow. So cool. Wow, I love it. I love the blend of the matcha and the orange together. It's like there's fireworks because it's a very new idea for me. Never heard of matcha orange and we got to try it here at the Redwood Cafe. So thank you so much thank for teaching you. me this. Now I know after we finish making the matcha orange, you're gonna teach me how to do the avalanche, right? The avalanche. Okay, yeah. so yeah, let's go with the avalanche. Now let's make the avalanche. So what's the first step? Uh, first we have to extract our coffee. Okay, we're gonna extract our coffee. Okay. So from beans to grounded coffee beans. Uh, well, while the coffee extracting, we proceed here and prepare the rest. Okay, water? Yes, I put in water first and directly to the syrups. Uh, vanilla and this one is Irish cream. Irish cream. Can I smell that first? Can I? Mmm, mm, so good. It almost smells like chocolate. <laughs> wow, look at that. I love it. And this is where we prepare our whipped cream. Gabby can see the difference, Kanina. So bang slow not into matcha because I was doing it and now super fast. Lang. <laughs> You have to use the manual throttle for it to... Oh, wow, okay. You know Dalgona coffee? Yes. So is that what they use? Because uh, yeah. I've tried doing that from Matagal. It's very sakit na yung hands ko. Wala pa rin kwenta. <laughs> okay. And we pour everything on top here. You know, I'm gonna have a suggestion next time. Like, you should like, think of like cheese foam. Have you ever thought of that? I think I'm gonna love it so much. Good. Garnish. Okay, thank you so much. Done. Is this it? Yes. Okay, that was very simple to make. But look at that. Look at the complexity of this drink. We've got the cream and milk, we've got the espresso, and we've got the juice, the syrup. Yeah, uh, water and syrup. Irish cream and, and vanilla. vanilla. Alright, so how do we drink this? Do we just... Uh, we have to stir this one first. Okay, but I think I want to like just try the whip first. So you can try one that then. Mm. So good. Now we gotta stir it? Yeah. Stir. Okay, I love it. I can taste the coffee as well as the syrup. Like it's like a blended of like the the rich aroma of the coffee together with the sweetness of the juice. Mm. And the cream added texture. Mm-hmm. I'm set up. I love it Thank so you. much. <laughs> and this is the avalanche. You know, I know that you have so many more other desserts and drinks. I'm going to eat all of those in front of you guys. So yeah, let's go and check out the other desserts and drinks they have here at the Redwood Cafe. my two drinks here because ito I did this myself the matcha orange and the avalanche and I'm loving two of these drinks and now I'm about to try their other specialties here at the Redwood Cafe they've got their pasta they've got their you know cakes muffins and their chicken sandwich so a while ago Alvin told me that super famous though yung Alfredo pasta nila so let's try it out okay so this is their Alfredo you know I'm very particular with white pasta because it's my favorite Swirl, swirl, swirl. Mm. 
I love it. I love the creaminess of the Alfredo. The pasta is also just right. It's not too soggy, it's not too soft. Mm -hmm. You know you have a delicious meal if you have a little bit of leftover cream in your mouth. Mm -hmm. okay. I love the cream, the parsley, the parmesan, the mushroom. It's just so yummy. And I really love how creamy it is in the mouth. And it's not umai at all. Like, it's not umai, which is a good thing. Because when you eat a lot of these white pasta, maybe it might be too oily, but this is just right. Okay, and now let us try their pesto. Wow, I really love the generosity of the parmesan they put. Each strand has the pesto. So I guess their pesto is more of the saltier side, which I really love. The rich taste of the pesto is really strong and it's a little bit more on the salty side. And now let's try their chicken sandwich. So as you can see, it's high quality bread, ciabatta. They've got, ooh, they've got lettuce, they've got tomato, chicken breast, and some mustard. And I guess this is basil. Okay, let's have a bite. Mmm, wow. It's so good. I love how crunchy the bread is and how tender the chicken. And then the mustard together with the parsley in it, it really kicks the taste. I love it. Okay, okay. This meal is like really healthy. So it's great after a workout, you know. This is so good. Oh my god, let me just have another bite. It's just so good. For the win, you might expect the chicken breast might be really dry. Does it taste good? But this one is the total opposite of whatever I just said. But I'm really loving this chicken sandwich. So now I've tasted their savory dishes. Now let's move on to their cakes. And first is the ube gato. As you can see, I really love the layers. You know, the cake, the bread part, cream, bread, cream, bread, cream. Perfect. I always love it when there's a good balance. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. I love the fluffy lightness of the cream as well as how moist the bread part of the cake is. It's not very sweet, which people would love so much because it's not super sweet. You know how whenever you eat cake, there's like the high-end cake and uh, you feel like it's not that high-end. This just belongs to the high-end kind of cake. So yeah, definitely a sweet treat. All right, let's move on to their blueberry cheesecake. So this blueberry cheesecake is New York style. Okay, let's try it. Here you go. So whenever we eat cheesecake, it has to be smooth. We're looking into that smooth texture. And this blueberry cheesecake has got that texture. Okay, they also have a crust. So as you can see, their crust is a little bit, it's not very brown. So inside, I literally just lick it. <laughs> I don't even have to chew or anything. Let's move on to their Bosworth cheesecake. So lately, if you go to a lot of coffee shops, you see a lot of Bosworth cheesecake. But which has the best? Let's see. Wow, super creamy. Heavenly. I love how you can taste the burnt part of the cheesecake and it's again it's very smooth but I'm really going to point out the burnt part of the cheesecake because I get the badly burnt but it has this robust texture this really strong taste of the burnt in a good way so I brought it up I did it high out chilla like whew. this is definitely my favorite when it comes to the cake I can literally just finish it off. You can just grab it and eat it. It's that good. Definitely a must try for me. The Bass Burn Cheesecake here at the Redwood. Let's move on to their muffins and cream puff. So I was really looking at this one. It's their carrot walnut muffin. Let's try it. Mm. 
you really see that it's really packed dense and then the cinnamon taste is also very strong I love the crunchiness of the walnut I love how dense and moist the muffin is and there's also carrot pieces so you know that they really baked it well the ingredients really fresh so the sweet cheese has a very milky taste to it so you can definitely taste the milk it's not your ordinary cream cheese it has a distinct milk flavor okay now let's move on to their chocolate muffin wow Ooh, look at that melted chocolate chip I love it, so good. They use high quality chocolate to it. It's not very sweet. It's really like those gooey chocolate chips that you eat, but in a muffin version. So good. Okay, now the last that we will be trying is their cream puff. So before I try this, I like to open it just to see what's inside. Custard inside. So it's caramelized on top. They've got their custard and we are taking a bite into it. It's so luscious. I love it. I was very surprised because the cream came out a little bit chill, cold. So it's like a little bit like ice cream, just a bit. It's also very smooth. I love the crunchiness on top, but it feels more like a cake. I'm really not disappointed with the desserts and savory dishes over here. Now just wash it down with a little bit of avalanche. Okay, so I'm really happy with your desserts, your savory dishes. Everything's just so perfect together with the ambience of this coffee shop as well. And now I'm sure you are as excited as I am to see what more we have in store for you today at Chinatown TV. So watch this. Chin 小楼孤独无人诉情走深情不相寂寞非洲 Investment Promotion Meeting and Project Signing Ceremony was successfully held. 菲律宾依福州经贸队接会及项目签约仪式隆重举行 
三年三月一号晚七点。由福建省委常委、福州市委书记林宝金率领的福州市经贸交流代表团，联合飞华各界联合会举办的菲律宾福州经贸推介会暨项目签约仪式，在台艺市香格里拉大酒店隆重举行。中国驻菲大使馆杨国良公参，纪凌鹏参赞，菲律宾贸工部副部长塞费里诺·鲁道夫。菲律宾总统贸易、投资及旅游特使许志军等应邀出席签约仪式。福州市副市长黄振雄宣布会议开始，介绍出席的领导和嘉宾，并做福建福州营商环境推介。福建省委常委、福州市委书记林宝金出席并讲话。他指出，菲律宾和福州双方交流源远,远流长，近年来福州与菲律宾友好关系不断加强，中非贸易快速发展。展望未来，福州与菲律宾合作前景会更加光明灿烂。菲律宾贸工部副部长。塞弗里诺·鲁道夫简要介绍了菲律宾与中国经贸往来情况。他说，近年来中非两国贸易与投资关系蓬勃发展，希望继续深化全方位战略合作，加大经济贸易往来，在高质量发展新征程上携手共进。飞华各界联合会主席杨华红在致辞中表示，此次活动是非中落实两国元首会晤成果。以及疫情趋缓后重启双边贸易活动的一场重头戏，也是福州市贯彻落实全球发展倡议、推进中国同菲律宾乃至东盟互利合作的重要举措。对接会现场集中签约了五宗项目，总投资两百三十八点八亿元人民币，涉及光伏产业、特色食品、跨境电商等领域。安德腾 news 非中新闻台综合报道。The Philippine Harmonious Grand Mason South Luzon Chapter held its 12th founding anniversary celebration and new officers induction ceremony. Philippine Chinese Harmonious Grand Mason South Luzon Chapter held its 12th founding anniversary celebration and new officers induction ceremony. Philippine Chinese Harmonious Grand Mason South Luzon Chapter held its 12th f o u n 二零二三年三月五号晚，菲律宾中国红门协和经业社总社男女宋之社，假作东海皇宫酒家，举行庆祝成立十二周年暨第十三、十四届里监事会职员就职典礼。飞华友好团体代表、嘉宾等应邀出席典礼仪式。名誉理事长林怡峰担任大会主席，他在致辞中感谢知社历任理事长和各位昆众在其任内的鼎力扶持，使知社事务得以顺利推展。相信在新界理事长洪英谋的带领下，全体昆众通力合作，知社会务必将蒸蒸日上，明天会更好。菲律宾红门联合总会理事长。协和经业社总社名誉理事长郑春木担任监事员，见证印信移交并训会。新界理事长洪英谋在致辞中表示，自己承蒙知社昆仲雅爱，推选为新界理事长，深感荣幸
，但也倍感压力。自己定当加倍努力，全力以赴，与知社全体昆众一起努力拓展社务，为协和南吕宋知社的美好明天，尽自己的一份绵薄之力。菲律宾红门联合总会名誉理事长，协和经业社总社名誉理事长。该支社常务指导员郑远明担任大会主讲人，红门联合总会名誉理事长许天恩，飞华商联总会副理事长施子云，飞华各界联合会副主席李洪明，菲律宾中国商会常务副会长侯世炼，红门五署代表，红门支工党总部主席姚金正，菲律宾南安同乡总会理事长黄拔来。红门协和各支社代表、中北吕宋支社理事长陈其凯等嘉宾先后致辞。期间，颁赠感谢状与名誉理事长林怡峰、监事员郑春木、主讲人郑远明，并捐献福利金与多个团体。执行副理事长蔡汉平致谢词，副理事长张青云介绍主宾席宾主，施诚义担任大会司仪，石秀主持余兴节目。Chinatown News 非中新闻台综合报道。The Philippine Long Sedi Chinese Teachers Association held its new officers' induction ceremony and Chinese New Year's celebration. Philippine Long Sedi Chinese Teachers Association held its new officers' induction ceremony and Chinese New Year's celebration.
新陇西理事华文教师联谊会，于二零二三年二月二十五号下午，在该会五楼大礼堂举行一年一度的新春联欢大会暨第二十九年三十届职员就职典礼。首先由主席李建宇老师致欢迎词。他在致辞中感谢宗长们多年来对竹师的敬重和鼓励，每逢节日出钱出力支持庆典活动。秘书长李如好老师介绍贵宾，然后举行宣誓就职典礼。理事长李正忠为新届职员就职监誓，见证印信移交并致辞。他在致辞中表示。老师们对教育工作尽心尽力，无私奉献，让下一代族裔能运用他们所学来的知识，为国家、为社会争光，也为宗族及人群谋福利。更希望老师们继续为中华文化教育服务与贡献。接着，名誉理事长李宏图、副理事长李文景也受邀上台发表感言。他俩赞扬老师从事华文教育的工作。是最神圣、最伟大的工作。最后由理事上台协助颁赠红包给每位出席的老师，然后大家共享丰富美味的自助餐，到下午五点才散会。是日，理事长李正忠还当场捐献飞币五万元，名誉理事长李宏图、副理事长李文景、名誉顾问李少平。月桥理事长李锦伦及博慈宗嫂也各自捐献飞币五千，合共飞币七万五千元。工作华文教师联谊会福利金用途，由新界会长李伟友博士代表接收。Chinatown News 非中新闻台综合报道。The Chinese embassy in the Philippines held a symposium on the summary of the Filipino Chinese community anti-epidemic work. China to Philippines Embassy held a symposium on the summary of the Philippine Chinese community anti-epidemic work. China to Philippines Embassy held 黄锡联大使、王悦参赞兼总领事、飞华商联总会副理事长施东方、飞华各界联合会主席杨华红、菲律宾中国商会会长洪吉祥、旅飞各校友会联合会主席柯志超、飞华联谊总会名誉会长戴国安以及华社抗疫委员会全体成员、华社救灾基金成员单位和相关社团代表。华社相关医疗检测机构代表及使馆外交官约一百多人出席活动。座谈会上，华社各主要社团代表。发言回顾在菲律宾华社抗议过程中的点点滴滴，既有众志成城的豪迈壮举，又有催人泪下的感人时刻。在中国政府及中国驻菲大使馆的鼎力支持下，康一伟带领着华社各社团在疫情中团结一致、互帮互助，战胜疫情，为华社上百万位同胞的安全保驾护航。黄锡联大使在会上发表总结性的演讲，说道：“二零二零年三月，新冠肺炎疫情开始在菲律宾肆虐，广大在非同胞在检测、隔离、就医、生活等方面存在着诸多的困难，确诊人数，特别是重症病例激增，健康安全受到严重威胁。”危急关头，华社人人志士们挺身而出，各团体迅速组织开展自救活动。在使馆的倡议下，飞华商联总会、飞华各界联合会、菲律宾中国商会四月初牵头成立华社抗疫委员会。抗疫委成立后，深入挖掘各方面资源，在热线咨询、核酸检测。中西医诊疗、住院治疗和法律援助等方面为同胞提供服务。随着疫情的持续发展，抗疫委与使馆的密切配合。
在飞成功实施了海外最大规模的春苗行动，为广大在飞同胞构建了健康安全屏障。同时，抗疫委为疏解同胞困难、稳定华社民心、领导华社抗疫，发挥了不可替代的作用。黄锡林大使说：“没有一个冬天不会过去，没有一个春天不会到来。我们欣慰地看到，经过各方的坚持不懈努力，广大在飞同胞的生产生活逐步恢复，菲律宾华社重新泛花勃勃生机。受到了疫情的洗礼，华社的凝聚力、向心力进一步增强，各个团体在华人华侨心目中的威望进一步提高，主流社会对华社的认可程度也进一步提升。”黄锡林大使表示，面对世纪疫情，非华社会团结互助，华人华侨不分彼此，新侨老侨守望相助。在此过程中，各团体体现出的团结自立、勇毅担当、大义无私，各展所长的华社抗疫精神，必将激励华社继续披荆斩棘、风雨前行。座谈会上到场的华社代表纷纷表示，虽然疫情已经告一段落，但是在抗疫过程当中体现出来的精神，将永远成为鼓励非华社会的精神食粮。非中电视台记者燕蓝天综合整理报道。You know, I had a really good time here at the Redwood Cafe. Oh, oh wow, what's this? Oh, the cardinal is black tea with raspberry. Black tea with raspberry cardinal. Okay, sige, wow. Kalo hot tapos na pero yun pala. The Redwood Cafe gave me another sweet surprise. Now we're going to try out their summery drink, the cardinal, also one of their best sellers. They say. Okay, let's try it again. Wow. Mmm. Perfect. Ooh, perfect to end my experience here at the Redwood Cafe. You know, I had a, such a lovely time, and I'm really loving that drink as well. It's so refreshing. It's very cool and not super sweet as well. Perfect blend of tea and fruity taste. So yes, everybody, you know, as you can see, I really enjoyed myself here at the Redwood Cafe. From the interiors, to the ambience, to the food, everything's just perfect. And I'm really loving this place. So if you are like me after dinner, you know, when you want to hang out in a place, this is the perfect place to go with your friends. To have a little bit of chat, because as you can see, sobrang cozy and then sobrang comfortable then. And it's just here at Limong Avenue if you are here at GC. Once again, my name is Candice Tan. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Chinatown TV. 我们下个星期再见。